Guys, for cheap and reliable coins, check out MuleFactory.com and use the code OWENFIFA at checkout for a discount. You can see, guys, they have loads of different coins up. Obviously, the prices will change as the game comes out more. It's cheap, fast, reliable. They do comfort trade, 100% legit, straight to your account for the cheapest price on the whole internet. Guys, I have started a free Discord. The link is down below in the description. Please do click and join the Discord. There'll be lots of different trading tips, stuff like that, in the actual um, Discord itself. But also, guys, I have started a Patreon. You can feel free to join at any level you like. See how it is. Um, you can make lots of different coins. I'll give extra tips, basically, you know, up to the gold tier where I'll trade in your account for you and make you lots of coins. I'll be expecting you guys to make probably 1 million, 2 million per week with this. So, obviously, it's a very good value thing. So, yeah, I hope you do enjoy, guys, and I will see you all very soon in the video. Hey guys, welcome to Ariston, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you a method where I made about 20k in like literally 2 meds. So you can see here, Kingsley Coman, this is a perfect example of a player. It's a little bit more of an expensive method for you guys, obviously the ones will be getting boring now for you guys. That are probably cheap coins, you must be making a lot of coins now. Especially of yesterday's video, I'll go and check that out if you haven't already. You can make yourself a lot of coins. You can see here, Coman is going for about 36k. If you put him into a hunter, if you look here, we'll put hunter in. You'll see if he's still doing the same thing. He's about 40k um, as an average sale. So he's a bit of a rubbish one right now. But this is one that goes to about 40k. So keep your eye out for him. Um, I'm going to leave him right now and go to someone different because he's a bit of a difficult one. But this is going to be like where I show you different players. So like Shadow here, you want to go and find a player. Like maybe, let's say, someone as fast like Quadrado. He might be one that's um, very good in the shadow. You can see here he goes for about actually 18k, 19k. On an average, 20k you'll get for him though. You can see in a normal position he goes for so much less. Like literally, look, 16k is pretty much his going rate. Um, six, yeah, look, he's 16.5, 16.250. You'll see here, so there's loads at 16.250. So you can probably snipe him at 16k. But what you want to do now is you want to go to Shadow and you want to buy all the ones in Shadow that will come up because obviously with him being this price people will forget that they've added the Shadow card to him. So you can see here already those other ones have sold and you can see he's 19.5k now in the Shadow. So all you want to do is just sit here and refresh over and over again and just see look there we go like that 16k in the Shadow straight away 3k profit. It's that easy that like you just want to keep refreshing it. Um, and obviously players that were better than others like obviously right now Coman isn't very good but he will be good over time so just keep an eye out on him basically is all I can advise at the moment because he will become good again um, when his price drops a little bit he's just got a little bit of stable I think price so it's made him very easy to pick up which is a bit frustrating but obviously Quadrado is a perfect one for now so obviously when this video does come out I'm just recording it and then uploading it straight away so it'll be active right now this, this is on Xbox so on PS Coma might work it just depends but you can see here we'll leave Quadrado now and try and find some other players these are just ones that I regularly do that I try and find so I'm probably for three hours because I'm going to be going out so just to make sure and then we're going to go now and try a different player so Ruben Diaz was quite good a while back I don't know what he's like now um, I know he's quite cheap. I think he might be a little bit more than that. I think he's like maybe 11k in the shadow. Um, he's actually more now. Jeez, he's um well 13k. So I don't know if he's risen up naturally or is this is like a a normal price for him. But yeah, he's um, yeah he's a bit of a difficult one now because yeah he's gone up a lot, which is frustrating. But um yeah that's a shame. He's another one that has gone really difficult i'm going to show you though in a minute another method which is going to show you how to do this with players that are much cheaper so there we go i mean you can sort of have a 13k but it's not any profit really it's pointless um so you can do this with cheaper players by just doing another chem style method which is like this so you want to go find anchor defender and uh, i just deleted it again of course and uh, let's put it in again anchor defender if you've got low coins just do this it's much easier and put in 1k and you'll see there's loads of players here you want to try and find some different players though at the 59th minute like maybe this homo like very similar put it up for like 1.3k he will sell um cons are here i mean they're not really worth buying because the problem is he's coming back into packs as well from team of the week so very similar for 1.3k he should sell you need to do the same thing again attacker and hawk you just keep going through them uh, 1k again obviously skip through don't buy like the antonio richardson's players like that you want to try and find weird players basically there won't be many of um, unfortunately there's none really this poor two might be a shout we'll just check him see what he's going for in a hawk 
Uh, poor two, we'll just see. No, I mean that one's worth buying. This thing, if you've got little coins, it's really easy. Like that's 900 coins there, like that. I mean, it's pretty simple um, to go and do. And you can obviously also do this further, go further with this, and put in like the hunter shadows, and do the same thing again. So put in hunter. I think I'm like 2k now. The going rate for these, um, they actually dropped even further, which is pretty crazy on Xbox. One and a half k for a card with a hunter. That was converted in a hunter. That's insane. Um, I'll go show you that one in a second, just as an example. Oh my god, what is happening on the Xbox? This is crazy. That's about 10k profit there in seconds. Um, I can't believe that. That's actually crazy. Um, we'll go and show you now. Anyway, we'll go and list these up. And then Jimenez here. This is going up from last yesterday's video too. So if you haven't seen yesterday's video, make sure you check that out. You see the cheapest Jimenez in a cam is going for about 2.9k, 2.2k there. For another centre mid hunter, I don't understand what's happening here. It's absolutely crazy. So we're gonna go list these up. We're gonna have got a hunter on it. This one's gonna go up for about five and a half k, and this other one's gonna go up for about three and a half for three point nine. Then we've got Delort in a minute. But first of all, you see this is a perfect example. Quadrado has sold already, which just proves how quick that was. Two k profit in literally a minute. Um, but you can see by these other cards, I mean, we made about another ten k. The lot in the midfield here. There's loads of different positions of cams. None of the CDM. So what we're going to do now is check him in a CDM. If this makes sense, there's none. So this is the perfect. This is the perfect player now, because we've got him in a hunter. It can't be any better. So we're going to put him up for 8k. So that's six and a half k on one card right there. It's so easy. Like it's that simple. Like and then you're going to go and do shadow. The same sort of thing again. One and a half k shadow. Um, it might be it might be 2k actually in the shadow. Let's just check one eight. That's a decent amount, 1.8. We'll go through, and you can see <laughs> someone's had a rampage on Timber. I don't, I don't know what's going on there. Um, Timber <laughs> is um, absolutely flooded in a shadow. I don't know if someone's converted all these. I really hope they haven't. I don't understand, though, what someone's trying to do here. Cause they've definitely lost coins if they're, if they're buying the shadow cards, so GG to them. But, um, yeah, you can just sit here like this on the 59th and keep refreshing. See if anything does come up. It might not. It might come up. You never know. It's just one of those things. It's literally pot luck. There's no thing to it here. And Hermoso there does come up. That would have been a nice little profit if I would have been more awake to it. But, yeah, guys, um, Diego Carlos in the shadow. Here we go. This is just a test now. This is, seeing, I, this is why I think it's going to go for something. This could be a loss because I don't know that method too well because I've got more coins now. This is more of like a 30, 40k method. So we'll just see now if we have made coins. Um, we probably haven't. I imagine we're going to break pretty even here if I had to guess. But no, look, you can see here the cheapest Diego Carlos is 3.4k, which proves again another great profit. Um, We'll set it on for 3.2, and it's another over 1k profit. It's just so easy to trade, guys. Like if you're new to trading, just there's so many things you can do, so many different tips. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Please join the Patreon if you do want some extra help. Um, that's linked down below. If not, just come and join the Discord. I'm in there active most days, speaking and giving you guys extra help. So make sure you come in and get that. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please do drop a like and sub if you're new, and I will see you all very.